guys, it's Alex. So today I wanted to film for you guys a little tutorial of what a, um, kind of a more neutral slash natural, I know it's not like completely natural, but like kind of just like your average everyday winter look. And so for me, like, okay, let's be honest, I don't do nearly the same thing every day, so I don't really have like an everyday routine, but like, I feel like if I did, this would be kind of it, just kind of a simple neutral eye and a little bit of lip gloss and stuff. So if you guys want to see this tutorial, please keep watching. Thank you. Hey, so first I'm going to start out with the L'Oreal Lumi Illuminator. Wow, that's a mouthful. In golden. And I am trying to find use for this highlighter. I haven't really found anything. But I'm just using it to like kind of prime my face and kind of to like make my foundation look more dewy. But honestly, I'm kind of struggling finding a use for this. Now on top of it, I am going to put on my foundation, which is the CoverGirl Stay Luminous Foundation, and I am going to put this on the back of my hand. I'm not exactly sure what I did, but I'm going to put this on the back of my hand and just kind of put dots all over my face so that when I um, go to blend it out, it has more of like an even coverage effect look, maybe? And I'm going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Apparently I wasn't feeling a brush today. But yeah, I'm just going to blend that all with my beauty blender. Honestly, I'm not sure how much um, the illuminator helped underneath for to look dewy. But I mean, I did look pretty radiant. So maybe that was it. Or maybe it's my foundation. I'm not exactly sure. Now I'm going to go with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. And I'm going to form a little triangle-like shape underneath my eye. And then I'm also going to use the excess on the little wand thing to go ahead and cover up any blemishes that I have. I always put it in like the creases of my nose. Because for some reason, I my nose has always been purple there ever since I was little. And underneath, I don't know why I bother because I that day, you know, I was still sick. And I'm blowing my nose a bunch and that makeup just comes right off. But oh well. And now I'm just going to blend that all out again with my beauty blender. And I'm going to take that up onto the eyelid to use as an eye primer. So, now that that's done, I'm going to go into the color icon, or the Wet n Wild bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. It's not a bronzer, let me tell you. It is more, I mean, if anything, it's like a highlighter. But I just used it as a powder today because I was going for that kind of like, you know, dewy, shiny look. It's not a very strong highlighter, so you can definitely use it as an all-over face powder. Or I think it would look really pretty as like a wet eyeshadow. And now, as you can see, I um apparently the lid is broken on that one, but uh it's my sister's, so eh. Oh well. But this is the bronzer from Wet n Wild in Take It to Brazil. I don't know why it's not, it's kind of getting washed out on camera, and honestly, it's kind of getting washed out in person, which is weird, because this summer, I loved it, but now, I feel like it doesn't show up anymore, which is weird, you'd think it'd be the opposite, that in the summer it wouldn't show up, but in the winter it would, but apparently, maybe not, but anyway, I'm going to do my best at contouring with it, and then I'm going to go into the Wet n Wild contouring palette, and I'm going to use the highlight shade underneath my eyes to bake. And just kind of illuminate that little strip right there. And I'm also going to use it underneath my bronzer to go ahead and clean up that line and make it look more defined. <clears throat> Once I've gotten that to my liking, I completed one eye and I'm starting the other one. So first I'm going into the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil or eyeshadow stick, or whatever that's called, in Milk, and I'm rubbing that all in. That also we kind of use as a base. And then I'm going to go in the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. Looks like that. And I'm going to be using the three neutral matte shades in there. So first I'm going to start with Heaven, and I'm going to put that all over the base of my eye. Then I'm going to go into Nudie, and I'm going to use this as a base for my crease. I'm not breaking this down onto the lid at all. I'm just using this straight in the crease and above. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to use a small like defined crease brush and I'm going to go into Cashmere Bunny and I'm going to put this in the outer crease. I don't even know if I can call this the outer V because it is not going down into my lid at all. It is purely on the outer crease. So I'm, if you can see, I'm kind of trying to keep my eyes open as much as possible and just put it on the outside. So once that's blended out, I'm going back into heaven and I'm packing that on the lid and underneath the brow bone to make that contrast more apparent and keep the eyes light. Then I'm going to line underneath my eyes with Cashmere Bunny. This is taking me way longer than it should. Once my eyes are lined, I am going to define and clean up the edges with a Q-tip. Once I have that where I want it, I am going to line the lower lash line with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And this honestly makes a huge difference. It makes your eyes pop so much more, and it's really not that noticeable in person. Like, you wouldn't say, oh, you're, she's wearing white eyeliner. It just makes your eyes look so much more open and bright. Especially when you're doing a um, darker look. So after I've curled my eyelashes, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel um, Curve Alert Mascara that I absolutely love. And I am just um, putting on lots of mascara. You guys know the drill. Then I am going to dust off all of the excess powder that is still on my face from before I did my eyes. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of blush on top. This is the Revlon Blush in Naughty Nude. If you guys can't tell, I'm in need of a new blush, that's for sure. I've used this one quite a bit. But I like it. It's kind of perfect. It's a little bit pink. It goes perfectly over bronzer. It looks really, really nice and natural. And then I'm going to go into the um, Champagne Pop Highlighter from Becca. And I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, as always, and above the brows. Can't be an everyday look without some highlighter, am I right? And the last step would be just apply any clear, you can use color if you want, but I prefer any clear gloss that you can find for to complete this everyday look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found it somewhat helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and or subscribe down below. Have a great day. I hope you guys have had a wonderful holiday season so far and I hope it continues to go great. Bye guys.